And now for this second race in two days here at Kitzbühel, the official 43rd International Hanenkamp Championship, where well, the weather is absolutely glorious. There's not a cloud in the sky. You could sunbathe on the slopes. And as for the piste itself, we've had no more new snow. That uh, snow from a day or so ago is now packed in. It should be quicker, and the run in excellent condition. The draw that hasn't been kind to the Canadians, Ken Reed, drawn number one yesterday, has got number two this time. He's followed immediately by Steve Podborski. Cataman gets number four. Tony Berger still has the flu, he won't go. Franz Klammer is at number 10, and Konrad Bartelski, trying to get all the worries of yesterday out of his mind, is drawn number 14. <laughs> And here we go. Helmut Hofflinner of Austria on his way down the Hanenkamp for the second time in two days. Equal tenth yesterday. The mouse of follow first. Swings left-handed. Takes that well. Coming now to the sideline. Left and right-handed turns. Coming from the sun into the shadow. On to the steep part which is kept icy. Oh, and Hofflinner has gone. Hofflinner going so high on that, couldn't throw the weight forward, went up far too high on the, the big jump there, that's the Hausberg, an indication this course is going to be much faster today than it was yesterday, they've had inspections, they haven't of course had a practice between the two runs, but Hofflinner there, no chance at all as he went so high and couldn't throw his weight back forwards and the crash on number one. Come on, Kenny, the shot that comes from the Canadians packed around the top. Ken Reed, the 1980 Kitzbühel champion, equal 13th, who skied this superbly yesterday, and then a mistake on the flat down through the middle. A little bit hesitant there, but going well. Todd Borski waiting at the top. The next man to go won't have the advantage of Reed radioing back to him to tell him about the course. Now, picking him up live as he swings in through, preparing for the Hausberg jump. 135, 86, and Reed is going well. Now he's got the switchback finish where the legs really begin to burn. The muscles ache, leaping high, trying to squash it, trying to get leg retraction, and Kenny Reed is still going, and this is faster today. Reed coming down towards the line now. It was 2.06.68, the best time yesterday. And 2.02.47, and Reed has skied it well. Now, has he skied it quick enough? Disappointment yesterday. No sign from today. Reed leads. Podborski to follow him. Oh, and Podborski on one ski as he came out of the starter. He hadn't gone more than a meter and he nearly lost balance completely. He had to wait at the bottom so long yesterday when he thought the race was his. Then it was stolen. One of the greatest races the Hanenkam has seen. Won it last year, second in the first of the two races. Won it in 1981, second yesterday desperate to get back the form which seems to have come back after yesterday's performance let's look at this 136 63 slower than ken reed and that mistake will have unsettled him and he doesn't look at all happy he's quite open there standing up just possibly might have wrenched the muscle as he came out of the starter because he didn't look at all happy Tool 247 is Reed. Podborski picking up as he comes down through the switch back at the bottom, but he can't do that. Tool 320, he'll be disappointed. He'll be as disappointed today as Reed was yesterday, I'm sure. A mistake right at the very beginning. As Reed standing there and just watching. And neither of them saying a word. Downhill championship leader, the only man to win two races so far this season. We've had six downhills, who fell here yesterday, quite early. It was a repeat of his performance 12 months ago. Cataman, 23-year-old Swiss skier, who leads the championship. Caught a tip yesterday, binding came loose and lost the ski. 
Sky High. Swings in there, comes to us live at the upper house, Berg, and slow, my goodness, slow. And Caterman again, one legged, nearly lost it there. Tucks in, trying to get as low as possible. 202.47 is Reed, and Caterman won't shatter that. 203.80, and the slowest of the men who's finished. Hoffwinner having fallen. So Caterman's lead at the top of the downhill championship being threatened here on the Hanekamp. Switzerland, who did so well yesterday. This is Ersti Raber, who came third. Kernan, of course, won it. Hot fourth, two seconds. This is the man who came third. Really has skied superbly this season. Come right up from his normal finishing positions of last year in the mid-twenties. Two best ever places, two-thirds. Switzerland were certainly a very happy skiing nation last night and look at that, they'll be happy again here this afternoon because Rayber leads at the midpoint. The Swiss ski preparation seems to be absolutely right for the Hanenkamp here this year. Austria seemed all wrong yesterday, they've worked all night and now they know they've got another big battle on it. Rayber skis down here, attacking Ken Reeves' leading time of 2.02.47. There it is on the left, and Raber is inside of the banner. A tuck in and a glide, and he's there. 2-2-19, Raber leads for Switzerland. And the Swiss fans who are here with trumpets, bands, cowbells, and everything else are banging them again. Again from Switzerland, Silvano Mili. 22-year-old who's yet to win a World Cup race. Eight for yesterday, his best ever. Fifth place in North America at the end of last season, which produced quite a few shock results. Edging furiously to get inside that control gate. Really had to cut in there. Good plume from the back, which shows he's carving well. No side slipping, carving, transferring the weight from the front to the back to get maximum acceleration out of the turn. 135.84, second fastest. So the Swiss skis running well, and the Swiss skiers going well on them. The Traverse, where it all drops away from you. Big crowd, they're about 15, 20 deep all the way down the course, and about 100 deep down at the bottom. Here comes Mealy, a Swiss skier lead. Is Mealy going to take it from him? 202.19 to beat. He's pretty close, he's pretty close. Just outside goes third place. So Raber still has it from Reed, and Mealy with a smile goes there. Switzerland really are skiing superbly this weekend here in Austria. Peter Muller, who's never won on the Hanenkamp, best ever, second in 1981 to Bob Horsky, fourth yesterday. powerful skier on the circuit. That Muller so determined. The Swiss team all producing good results. Muller turns in. Good tight line. Just struggling just a little down there over the style hang. Comes to the Hausberg. And 135.83, second fastest. Lost just a little bit on the style hang and made another slight mistake there. Muller says the Swiss coach tries too hard in events that he wants so dearly. To see if the coach is right or whether Muller is right today. We'll know in just a second or two as he comes down now. Over. The switchback finish. One of the great sights in ski racing. 202.19. Raber. No. 202.69. Goes third. And Reed still holds on to second. Muller looks up and says, yet another year when I haven't won it. The bogey. And here he is. Clamour. Oh. 
I would say that more people have come here to the Hanengarm to see this man than any other. The three times champion back in the 1970s who got it all wrong yesterday despite this marvellous recovery which has brought him right back to the top of downhill skiing this season. And again a mistake there for Clamour. Good turn. Look at the arm. Unmistakable. Swinging all over the place. Fights the hill and produces excitement on the snow. 35, 36, 34, fifth fastest. He's less than a second down and Clamour could do that. He's done it before. He could pick up a second on the bottom part and Austria know it and they're cheering. Flies it. Flies it again. Trying to keep it low. 202 19. He's coming down through this big avenue of people. He could just make it. 202 outside. 202 79. And look at that. It's less than half a second. And he drops right down to fifth. Raber, Reed, Fuller, and Mealy are ahead of him. So Clamour hasn't done it either. And Austria are beginning to worry now. Well, Todd Brooker will know about Reed's run, which gave him second place, about Todd Borski's run, which gave him sixth. The radio's been working up to the top. Todd Brooker, who was 17th yesterday after a bad mistake, and he made another one there. Sat right back on the landing under the motorbike. Two crashes this season. Far from that, he's been 11th, 6th, and yesterday's 17th. Kitzbühel living up to his reputation, providing great ski weather and great ski action. 135-41, and Brooker second fastest at the midpoint split. Now, Brooker, he must restrain himself. He tends to push too hard, and he had a bad landing there. Ski tips going together. Gets back in, gets back on line, holds the balance. Raber's time on the left. Reed lying second, he's in touch, he's there! 201 96, and the 23 year old Todd Brooker waves the arms in the air, and Canada, who threatened yesterday, have got it here at the moment. What a rise to fame this young man has had this season, and in they go, in they go. Ken Reed, who was disappointed with Bobowski, is delighted with Brooker. The salute. Well, KB for GB. Conrad Bartelski, Great Britain. Ranked now 14th in the world's top downhillers. A disastrous day yesterday, even though he'd been pressed clever. And desperately trying to get into a lower tuck position on the hill. He's opening too much, not getting into a low tuck, and hesitant from open to close. Little wide, but he's all right. Now. That's the slowest, and he's gone. Oh, my. The Hausberg and Bartelski has crashed. He's up. He will be livid. He fell here coming out of the mountain fella last year, and Kitzbühel has got him again. And here's the man who had the Swiss fans parading the town non-stop throughout the night, Bruno Kernan, yesterday's winner. They had him on their shoulders, they took him around the town, they wouldn't let him go until uh, way into the late evening. The Bruno band already striking up. Really has come to the top this season. Here comes Kernan. He's left himself too much to do, I think. He has... And 202, 97, but goes seventh, just behind Clamour. Well, what a great hit school weekend for Bruno Kernan. Yet again, then, a Canadian triumph for Kitzbühel. For the fourth year running, they take the Hanningcom Championship race. Todd Brooker following Ken Reed, and two wins by Podborski. Reed this time is third. Austria are pushed out with Clamour, their best man, in sixth place. Weirreiter, by the way, actually finished a disappointing 11th. Conrad Bartelski will be glad to know perfectly okay after his fall, but Todd Brooker is the man of the 1983 Hanencom Classic. Todd Brooker, many congratulations. Uh, you've been threatening all season. You couldn't have picked a better place to get it right, could you? No, this is the place I've wanted to win all year, and 
ever since I've seen uh, Ken and Steve win here. I've managed this year to have half good runs and good section times, and uh, it, it really pleases me to know I can put a whole run together and especially come down and win. I'm just thrilled. Because last year here, I mean, you produced a bit of a surprise. I think you were down at about a 39 start, and you came in the 13th, didn't you? Yeah, I had I had a good run last year, and it was it was fairly good for my first time here. But uh, I was really looking forward to coming back here this year. And uh, yesterday it wasn't quite the same. It was a little bit slower, and the, and the snow today today then was hard. And today was Kitsfield. Today was a lot of fun. It was a good race. And with that, Franz Klammer is now only three points behind Conrad and Cataman in the downhill championship. Cataman 15th in that second race. Well, then the Swiss Challenge, that's followed by Reed, the top Canadian, and Todd Brooker coming in now at number 10.